Hey guys, on today's video, I'm taking a look at your exclusive packs right here with your PlayStation Plus. So let's just go into PlayStation Plus, scroll down a little bit, and then you should see these options here where it says exclusive packs. So go right into them. And these are the ones that you guys can get for free at the moment. And just make sure to download whichever ones make sense to you. And sure, even if you don't have a certain game, you can still download it. And then once you download the game later on, you can still apply these. If you want to avoid any problems, make sure the game that you're downloading this for is fully closed. So let's just start off with this one right here. We're going to go on. It should say zero dollars, by the way, and just confirm that purchase again it should say zero. Then it's going to process. And then once it's on processing, you are done. You have it right there. So once you go into the game, you should be OK as long as the game is fully closed or else just restart PlayStation. You should be OK. So we're going to go into Apex. We're going to take a look at it as well. We're going to add this to our library in this case, and then it should say purchase. So we're done with that one as well. So no, you don't need to download every single one that I'm doing. I'm just giving you examples of how this is done. But if you want to, you can, of course, download every single pack that's here or the ones that make sense to you and only you. If you're looking for a specific pack, sometimes it's better to do this. Go one by one and look for it instead of searching for it, because sometimes they just don't show up for some reason. So right here, we're going to download this exclusive pack, which is awesome. But anyways, once you downloaded it, just go down to whichever one you want. Add it to your library, confirm that purchase and you are done. Once again, we're going to go on, go next, go back and then we can move on to this one. Add it, confirm purchase. They should all say zero, by the way. I do have a few examples of how to apply these, but it's basically just log into your game as long as it's fully closed. That's why I keep saying, make sure it's fully closed. So we're going to go into this one. We're going to apply this as well. And then we're going to move on with every single pack available at the moment. And yeah, you can download this at any point in time. You don't just have to add it to your library. You can download it anytime. So right now we're going to go on, get this. Awesome. We're going to go back. Continue on, go back once again, and here we go. As long as it says purchased, you should be good to go. So same deal. We're going to with this one and it's done. Thank you for receiving. We're going to go back once again. We're going to do the exact same thing with every single one of these. I do want to mention this, for example, see how this one says purchased. And then there's like one that's exactly the same thing. It says unavailable. That's because it's the exact same thing. Sometimes they get one that's for PlayStation 4. The other ones for PlayStation 5. And that's why you see those errors happening. Same deal. So see this and this. It's actually the exact same thing. So just go on and add it. See, it's for PS4 and PS5. So it works either way, whichever you guys have. And it's going to be the exact same instructions if you guys have a PS5. So they should say purchased. We're good to go. Um, same deal if you have a PS4, I mean. Anyways. Right now, Final Fantasy, we can add this on as well. And again, they should all be free. There are exclusives just for you guys, since you do have PlayStation Plus Essentials. If you have the other ones, you also get the others. So if you have, if you pay a little bit more, you should be able to get these packs anyways. Right now, here's Fortnite. And no, we're not going to turn on Fortnite right now. But basically, I just have to log into the game. I'm going to see this. I'm going to go back. Then later on, I'll take a look at it. Now, here's the copy of it. It should say just play. That's fine. Because we already have it. Uh, I guess I'll give you guys the example at the end of the video how this is done in Fortnite. Because a lot of you are watching this for Fortnite anyways. So we're going to go back and I'll show you. Do think my game's fully closed. I'm gonna make sure it's fully closed before I even go into it, just so I don't get any errors and the game refreshes properly, and I will be able to see the pack as soon as I log into it, which should be the case for all of you who are downloading any other packs right here that I'm showing you at the moment. So right now, let's just go back. There are quite a few more packs than what I thought there would be, but we're just gonna continue on and get all the ones that we want. And then we should be done with this. So right now, this one has been purchased already. Right here, we have Overwatch. I'm going to go on and add it on. Perfect. Then we can just go back. 
move on with more packs, which does include this one right here. I'm going to get this. It's going to be the exact same instructions for every single one of these packs. Uh, none of them are different, really. Now, you might see on my screen some of them say purchased already. And yeah, that's because they some of these came out months ago. And we claimed them already, so there's no need to take a look at them again. Since they are in your account already. Now, here's a really cool one about Rocket League. We're going to add it on. And we should have it at the moment. Perfect. So we can just move on. This is a really good one. Let's just confirm that purchase. And as always, just keep going. Let's move on with this. There's usually always one for this game. Always, always. I've never not seen something for this game. Uh, at this point in time, you guys could download it or just continue on. Your choice. But in my case, I'm just going to leave the downloads for later at the end of the the video so they don't get in the way. Sometimes glitches or you have too many things downloading at the same time, it just gets a little messy. So any downloads we will be leaving for the end of this video. But uh, we have this pack as well, which I thought I downloaded from before, but apparently I didn't. It says purchase, purchase, Warframe. Warframe usually comes out with some pretty neat packs. And finally, we're getting towards the end. So let's just add this on. Again, I'm going to download it later. But if you guys are doing this just for that, make sure to download it right away. We're going to go on, confirm that purchase. And we are almost about to be done with this entire tutorial. Now I can show you guys how to apply a pack, which is basically just logging into the game. And that's why I said so many times during this video to have the game that you're downloading these packs for. Make sure that's fully closed. Because a lot of people think it's closed just because you're not in the game. It's actually not. So right now, I'm going to show you the example with Fortnite. I'm going to make sure it's fully closed first. And then we should see after I get any news or any pop-ups coming up, I should be able to see the pack without doing anything. Literally doing nothing. Because that's how they're supposed to work. So right now we're going to log in as we usually do. And if I don't see the pack, usually what I do is go into a game, get out of the game, and then that it works. It kind of refreshes Fortnite. But since Fortnite was closed, I should be able to see. Right there it says purchased items redeemed. And as you guys can see, I did nothing. So here we go. We got a pop-up coming up. We always need to wait for those. And finally this came. So I can go ahead and equip it. I can go ahead and equip it as well. And that's what I just got. Anyways, as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.